48 hours after a shocking broad daylight shooting in the heart of Times Square, no arrests, but police say the shooter is not a mystery to them. One of the three people struck by bullets is a four-year-old girl. We have new body camera video of the heroic officer who jumped into action and rushed her to safety. Now, the man police are looking for is 31-year-old Farrakhan Muhammad. Senior NYPD officials say he was actually trying to kill his own brother. We have live team coverage for you tonight following all these developments. We're going to start with News 4 Mark Santia with the latest on that little girl and of course how she's doing Mark. Yeah, Natalie, sources close to the investigation tell us the four-year-old has been released from the hospital. She's at home resting and she's expected to make a full recovery. I think it's a baby down there. Officer Alyssa Vogel's body-worn camera is rolling as she races through Times Square to save a four-year-old girl hit by a stray bullet. When you hear shots fired in Times Square, it's a little alarming, but we know we responded quickly. Watch as Officer Vogel finds the child bleeding. She fastens a tourniquet around the child's left leg. Took the tourniquet off my gun belt and started applying it to her leg. That's when Officer Farter and I put it on her and then checked her to see if she had any more gunshot wounds. Officer Vogel scoops up the little girl, running again to a waiting ambulance. Officer Vogel praising the child today. For a little girl that was just shot, uh, she was so calm. And I think her being so calm is why officers were able to get her the help that she needed as quickly as possible. The girl was one of three people shot. Police sources say Farrah Khan Muhammad pulled the trigger but missed the intended target, his own brother. A humble Officer Vogel saying she is not a hero. Every officer that responded to that job did a phenomenal job. It wasn't just me, it was everyone that responded. And I think any cop that was in the situation that I was in would have done the exact same thing. And as it turns out, Officer Vogel is a new mom with a six-month-old at home who tells us her police training and maternal instincts kicked in. Being a new mom, I was just treating this little child as if she was my own and really just trying to get her to the hospital as quickly as possible. Right now, all three victims were told recovering and expected to make a full recovery. As for the suspect, police, as well as U.S. Marshals, working together to search for Mohammed. Police also reaching out to the community, saying if you have any information they want to hear from you, you can remain anonymous. We're live in Times Square. Mark Santia, News for New York. All right, Mark, thank you. Now, shootings are rare in Times Square. The tourist mecca is teeming with police officers. But businesses struggling to recover from the pandemic are worried that the city's increasing violence will make that even harder. News for us, Gus Rosendale continues our team coverage with how tourists and businesses are reacting now. Gus. Well, Chuck, some city leaders and the Times Square Alliance quick to point out that crime overall in the city is down. It's a different story when it comes to gun violence, which is why many people here are happy to see extra police. On foot and on the road, police on patrol across the crossroads of the world. A crime scene Saturday when police say a man shot at his brother in Times Square, hitting three innocent bystanders instead. We heard the shots. It happened in the corner right here. It was very terrifying. Everyone was running and fleeing. But 45th and 7th isn't just a tourist destination in the headlines for a violent encounter. It's also a 20-year home base for this food vendor business, where owners are depending on the city's gradual reopening. I hope it doesn't backfire. I know they gave us a date of July, um, so I hope it still stands and we can open back up. <laughs> when you look at New York City compared to cities around the country, around the world, this is a very safe place and there's more and more activity the city is clearly coming back. People are starting to come here much earlier, actually, than I thought they would. And in Times Square today, signs of that gradual comeback as tour buses roll down 7th Avenue. This family from Utah buying tickets, their first time in town. I wasn't sure where, where it happened at, um, but, uh, you know, I, I see a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of situations like that in the media all the time now, so it's kind of like common, common nowadays. Visitors taking the brutal reality of urban crime in stride. We're from Boston, right? But I've seen shootings in Boston also. So New York, Boston, it doesn't matter where you are. It happens. Chuck and Natalie, the tourists we talked to, they say they didn't have any second thoughts about coming here. They did say something that would bring them comfort would be word of an arrest. And so far, that hasn't happened. We're live at Times Square. I'm Gus Rosendale, News 4 New York.